everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a wig base down and make it into a hair topper. The wig, or should I say topper, that I'm wearing now is Bella Madame's Angelina Mono SF and Danish Blonde Root. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just heard a huge gasp from around the web when I said I cut this incredible wig down into a topper. The Angelina wig is such a beauty. I saw it on the channel Taz's wig closet. I knew I had to have her. This wig reminds me so much of how I wore my hair when I was in my 20s. I've had my Angelina for over a year now. I ordered her straight from Continental Wigs in London. Ugh, I have not worn her. She was just sitting in a box and I would try her on every now and then, but I'm just not ready for a full wig. So I couldn't bring myself to wear her yet. Um, but I love the look of the long bangs and the beachy waves and gorgeous highlights and this fantastic blonde color. So I decided to cut her down to a smaller topper size. And wow, did she turn out amazing. She did. Today I'm gonna to show you how to turn a lace front monotop wig into a hair topper. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take a topper you already own. Um, mine is a Beltress Top Wave. Um, and what I did was took a tape measure and measure the width and uh, just get a good idea how big you want your new topper to be. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is mount your wig to a a canvas head or you can do it by hand obviously in this video I could hold it and do it at the same time um, you're going to measure your wig uh, to the exact dimensions that you your topper is that you're going to make um, I actually love mine a little bigger because I want a little more coverage um, the wig you see here is the Carlotta that's why there's a, a part there because um, I went ahead and cut mine down before I made the video uh, what you see me doing here is cutting right on those elastic bands to the size you want um, and then you're going to kind of curve your cut going upward with your scissors. Um, before you do that, though, you need to kind of part that hair off. Turn it over and part that hair off. You don't want to cut over those side hairs and cut them off. Okay, so here she is. Um, she's trimmed and I went ahead and added some clips to her going all the way around you have to be careful when you add clips to The little weft areas you just want to do it real, with a real fine small needle um, And right here I'm showing you where you need to part that hair off if you're going to trim next to that lace You don't want to cut that hair off um, And make it stubble on the sides that that's not good And then you just evenly place your your clips going all the way around and that kind of holds those wefts together um, since there's no band there she came out she came out great uh, if you look you will see and I'm gonna put her next to my bell dress and they are almost identical they came out great and there you go and with the piece that you end up cutting off the back since this is such a pretty wig it had great beachy waves you could totally use this piece by adding clips going all the way around to make it a clip-on back piece if you wanted to keep using it. I mean, as you can see, look at the nice waves. It would make a great clip-on piece for the back and sides of your hair so it doesn't all go to waste. Okay, here's one last look at how she turned out. Um, I'm going to turn her over, and as you can see, she's nice and full and fluffy. I mean, this turned out really good. I love how much... Um, the fullness is still left on the back. It's not thin or fine at all by cutting those wefts. I also wrote a blog post with more detailed instructions and up close images. Uh, the link to it is below. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. There are more fun tips and tricks to come. See you next time.